Hey you ready designer one. So a common problem I see on the internet is really large wide pieces of text and the problem with that is that it can be hard to read and this is a common problem that I see beginners make and did you know that the web is made up of 95% text and of course it depends on the website for example YouTube is mainly video but a common scenario is your client or a startup if you're designing a landing page they will give you copy and it's your job to then make it easy to read and did you know that online users don't really read they actually scan so if you imagine first time you're on a website you see a large piece of text that's going to feel overwhelming and you could easily bounce bounce means leaving the website but what if you can arrange it in a way that is not so overwhelming and it's a lot more easy to scan and read so we are going to use the art of typography welcome to the ready designer one channel so first, what is typography? So on Wikipedia, typography is the art and technique of arranging type to make written language legible, readable and appealing when displayed. I've extended this textile system, so I've added an, another size here of 72 pixels. And you can see this on the textiles, which is quite straightforward to create. So our first challenge is how to improve this common wide text so in this scenario you're with a client the client gives you a lot of text how do you then arrange it beautifully so the first step is i'm going to command d to duplicate and this is in an auto layout so command dot so currently i've got a padding on the left and the right of 128 i'm just going to zero that out so first thing to decide is what medium or device you're designing for so what we're going to do we're going to start from desktop so this is a macbook pro and the easiest way to do this is just to use a max width scale so as an example tailwind css they have a system max width so this will be fluid when you reduce the screen size here is a nice system so when you start to think about systems you have a spacing system color system text system width system nearly everything is a system and this is where things get really consistent and easy to use so i'm going to take an example i'm going to say okay let's say seven six eight so i'm going to go in command dot i'm going to say let's have a width of seven six eight and then we want that to align in the center okay so straight away we've reduced the width of the text so this is way too wide now i've just reduced it and use a width from tailwind css that I, I typically use and this has reduced the width or the measure of the text so there's a recommended number of letters per line and here is a good quick example so the next step is how can we improve this further so one of the easiest things to do is the first line just to make this bigger so i'm going to just go in and select that command dot i'm going to straight away make that large so now you can see in typography you got the heading and then you got the first paragraph which is large so you're breaking up the text because you have to remember that users don't really read online they tend to scan so let me just align that in the center okay so how can we improve this further the next step is just to break up the paragraph so here is quite here is one here that i can see so i'm just going to press enter and enter so now we can start to see how this is becoming like groups so this is something i taught in the last video about proximity we're starting to group stuff we're making it easier to scan so if you compare it to the very first one we've made little changes and now it just feels a lot easier on the eye a lot easier to scan a bit more pleasant to read and at this stage you're pretty much good to go so now the next step is if you wanted to go a bit further and change things so the next step is how can we make it even more easier to read well a quick one is just to break up the text so here i'm just going after the full stops so you can see i'm just going to delete that so you can see now that i've just broken it up again 
into nearly sentences now. So now it's even more easy to scan and read. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. So the next step is to actually use layout to make it interesting to look at. So I'm just going to very quickly do this in auto layout. So I'm, I am going to speed this part up. So I am going to Okay, so you can see what I've done. I just very quickly created columns. So here I've made this into a column and just trying to break it up, play around with layout. So now we can see that it's still, the width is quite tight. So the next thing to do is just command D that. We can actually make the width a bit bigger now. So I'm just going to start incrementing. So hold shift and just press up. So I'm just going to keep going until it feels like we are getting and here we're starting to get into the to the 1072 so if I was to go back to Tailwind there's a 1024 so here I can go down to 1024 so this is following a system just align that in the middle that's looking pretty good now one thing is this one the downside to that is this has got a huge gap here so this feels quite imbalanced so we just want to give that a fixed width and we just bring that right down so now we're just making the lines more balanced and there we go so now I'm just gonna bring that in the center so now you can see we've just broken up the text, we played around with layout, made it look a bit more pleasing to look at. If you want to be brave and you want it to be even more easy to read, this can depend on the audience, is just to make the font size bigger. So at the moment this is a font size of 18. So the web is 16 by default. I think one I got 18 now, but if we want to make them bigger, command dot. So this one, I'm going to make this the largest. This one is going to be the... So now I've just made this text extra large. And then here we can also make these a bit large as well. So now I'll just go in. Okay, so if I just vertically align that. So now we've made it a lot more bigger and it just feels a lot more easy to read. Right, so one thing we have to do though is increase the width. So I'm going to go command dot and let's have a look at tell and CSS. The next one up is 11.52. So I'm just going to type 11.52. Okay. And this one, we can make that a bit bigger as well. So I'm just going to shift and make this go to three lines. Okay, nice. So what we've done we've just very quickly increased the font sizes to make this a lot more easy to read and it also depends on the audience. Okay, so the last step, how do we adjust this for mobile? So I'm just going to very quickly command dot. So for mobile, the simple technique is just to reduce the font sizes. So command dot, I'm going to change the frame to let's say Pro Max and I'm going to say from the left and we're going to make the width the same of 4 to 8. I'm going to hit enter to go in because I want everything to fill container. I'm going to go into this 
I'm going to hit enter to go in and enter again. So that is pretty good. But we actually want this to stack. I'm going to make the spacing 24. I'm going to go in again. And we have to make sure they stack as well. Okay, so this one we just need to make that smaller. So let's say around 40. This one again, we need to go smaller. And then all of these, I hit enter and enter. I want that to be base. So I can reduce the spacing here to 24. And again, I want this to be command bold. And now the last thing is just to have a padding on the left and the right. And I decided on 24 because again we're using our spacing system from the top. I'm just having a rough guess of 80 because imagine the logo or navigation. So we could just say 100. So this one I'm just going to vertically align that. So now you can see the differences that when we have a desktop version and a mobile version, it's just very simple. We're just trying to break up the text. So hopefully you found this video useful. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.